Welcome back. The death of a three-year-old Florida boy is now sparking conversation in Tallahassee on what can be done to make sure similar deaths do not happen and ensure the safety of children. Three-year-old Miles Hill died earlier this month in Orlando after he was left inside of a hot van for nearly 12 hours by a daycare worker. That employee, Deborah St. Charles, has been charged with aggravated manslaughter of a child. Investigators say she picked up Hill and five other children to take them to school. But while the other children made it safely to daycare, Hill was left behind. Police say St. Charles didn't check to see if all of the kids were off before getting out of the van. She has since been fired from the daycare. And following that preventable death in Orlando, there's now a new Florida bill that would make leaving a child unattended in a car illegal. Currently, the law says you can leave that child in a car for up to 15 minutes without the air conditioning running. ABC 7's Christopher Bradley tested that length of time in a car to see if a person could take that kind of heat. And he joins us live from Venice inside his car with more. Christopher. Legal to leave your dog in a car with the windows up, but there are loopholes when it comes to leaving your child in the car, and that can be quite dangerous on a sweltering day like today. Joanna Davis is the mother of two children. She says she never leaves her kids in the car alone. Never. There's too many variables. One of those variables is the immense heat. The sun bakes the outside of that car in a very short period of time. The, the temperature goes well over 100 degrees. It may surprise you, but according to Florida statute 316.6135, you are allowed to leave a child older than six years old in a car for no more than 15 minutes. But the motor must not be running. We wondered how hot it could get in a car after 15 minutes with no air. 15 minutes begins now. The car is off. We tested it out with our own ABC7 vehicle with help from the Venice Fire Department. The firefighters and paramedics were so concerned, they gave me a handheld radio in the car just in case I started to not feel well. And they regularly checked the temperature with a laser. All right, we're just passing the five minute mark. You want to give it a quick test? After only five minutes, the temperature rose 10 degrees from 88 to 98. My body temperature went from its normal 97 to 100 degrees. At the 15 minute mark, the temperature inside the car was 102 degrees. My body was still 100 and I was ready to get out. I think people become complacent and that's when accidents happen. Um, I think that they think nothing bad will ever happen to them and that they're invincible. Even if it isn't a hot day, there can still be serious concerns. There could be a bad guy there waiting to take a car. His focus is on taking the car. His, not, his focus is not on the child in the back seat. But there's hope that this new Florida House bill could raise enough awareness of the dangers of leaving kids in the car unattended. If it saves one, by just making people more aware that now it's a crime, maybe it will save one child. And if it does that, it's well worth it. And this new bill states that any parent, guardian, or anyone who's responsible for a child may not leave that child in a car for any length of time. And anyone who does that could be charged with a second degree misdemeanor. If signed into law, this new bill would go into effect next year. Live in Venice, Christopher Brantley, ABC 7, your Suncoast News. All right, Christopher, thank you so much. State officials are looking to put as many staff members as possible into Florida's dangerously understaffed prisons amid an unspecified threat of violence. All able-bodied administrators and officers, including new cadets, probation, and parole officers, have been asked to temporarily transfer to these institutions. The move comes after this week's announcement that 148 Florida facilities are now on lockdown and all visitations this weekend have been canceled. Today, the Florida Highway Patrol remembers one of their own killed in the line of duty 30 years ago. On this day in 1987, 28-year-old trooper Jeffrey Young was on a traffic stop on I-75 in Manatee County near the very bridge that now bears his name. Young found cocaine in the car he had pulled over and a struggle broke out between Young and his killer, Daniel Burns Jr. Burns got a hold of Young's gun and shot and killed him. Today, FHP has remembered Trooper Young's bravery and his service to the community during a memorial service. Trooper Young's father and former partner, now retired Trooper Larry Costanzo, were both in attendance. FHP presented Trooper Young's father with an American flag in honor of his late son.
Everybody else's life was more important to him than his own life. And I mean that. And that was part of what was going on when he was when this took, when this all went down. Trooper Young's killer, Daniel Burns Jr., was convicted of murder and sentenced to death. He is still sitting on death row today. Our first alert weather team is closely monitoring several tropical systems in the Atlantic right now, and including Tropical Storm Harvey. And Harvey has now reached the Caribbean after drenching the Leeward Islands with rain. Yesterday, hurricane hunters flew through the storm, collecting information for the National Hurricane uh, Center, and they took this picture of the system as they did. Pretty cool look mm -hmm. at a storm in the Caribbean. Nice to see it from that angle. Yeah. Let's get over now to uh, Steve, who is keeping track of that and our weather this afternoon. Steve? Thanks, Scott. In about uh, six or seven minutes, I'll look more closely at Harvey. It doesn't look like a terribly dangerous storm right now, but we did have some dangerous lightning and strong storms over Tampa Bay up to the Nature Coast earlier today. You can see this outflow boundary that came out from that has triggered some showers and storms over the Sun Coast, especially one right down over um, uh, State Route 72, that's Clark Road going past Mayaka River State Park. It's kind of evolved and heading up toward Mayaka City. We also had some showers that have skirted Longboat Key, Siesta Key in the last hour, now heading toward Osprey. And a closer look at that, you can see not a lot of lightning with this one as we had inland, but you could get wet between Osprey and Venice in the next half hour or so. Our future cast shows the showers and thunderstorms thin out overnight. Winds become light and variable, and without that wind and with temperatures staying in the low 80s right until after midnight is going to be a muggy night. Kind of a miserable night, actually. And tomorrow, it's going to be a hot and miserable day, too. But there's relief coming our way. We'll tell you about that and our tropical weather outlook in just a few minutes. Scott? I'll take it, Steve. Thank you. The end of an era. NASA launched the last of its longtime tracking and communication satellites from Cape Canaveral today. The rocket, which was built by Boeing, is carrying a new tracking and data relay satellite. It's now traveling into space at 1,100 miles an hour or so. NASA says the TDRS will enable NASA's space network to support critical communication into the mid-2020s. It will provide access to data for missions like the Hubble Space Telescope and the International Space Space Station. Decades after its first launch, NASA's Voyager spacecraft is still working hard. This Sunday marks the 40th anniversary of the launch of Voyager 2. It left, left Cape Canaveral on August 20th, 1977 to explore Jupiter and Saturn. It's now almost 11 billion miles away. Voyager 1 followed a few weeks later and is ahead of Voyager 2 as the world's only craft to reach interstellar space. That is the space between stars. Each spacecraft carries a pho phonograph. This is a record that contains messages from Earth. The Great American Eclipse now just days away, and as we gear up for this once in a lifetime event, you want to make sure you and your family are ready to do it safely. ABC's Maggie Rooley is in Charleston, South Carolina, the final American city to see the total eclipse. On Monday, you're going to want to look up at the sky because nearly everyone in the U.S. will get quite the show. We have not had a total solar eclipse cross the continent in over 100 years, um, so I think it's exciting for everyone. But full totality, that's something special. There's nothing like it. It is tenfold better than a partial. The path of totality will sweep across the U.S., starting in Oregon and ending here in South Carolina. But no matter where you are, if you plan to look up at the sky, you have to be careful. It added about 30 seconds to a minute uh, on and off. Fred Karst was 15 years old when he watched the last eclipse without safety glasses. And in that short amount of time, Fred suffered permanent eye damage. Both eyes uh, eclipse burns. Um, and so basically what is that? It's like a flash photography. You see that little swirly thing after the flash. I see it all the time. Cindy Hall works at the Department of Science and Math at the College of Charleston. And she says the first step, make sure your glasses are made by an approved manufacturer. If you go to AAS.org, they have a list of reputable vendors. And then put them on and enjoy the show. You see the partial eclipse happening? Put them on. Put them on. Enjoy, enjoy, enjoy. And then when totality happens, you can take them off Ooh. and view the corona without your glasses. Only time you can ever look at the sun without glasses. And if you plan on making the trek to totality, whether it's here in Charleston or anywhere across the country, the Red Cross recommends packing your car with water, non-perishable food items, and a flashlight with extra batteries. Maggie Ruley, ABC News, Charleston, South Carolina. 
And ABC 7 will bring you continuous coverage of the solar eclipse throughout the weekend. And again on Monday, we also have lots of information on our website about the eclipse, including school schedules, how to capture the event with your smartphone, and a lot more. You can also send us your photos and video of the eclipse by using the hashtag Suncoast Eclipse. Dust off your bell bottoms and your peace signs. Downtown Sarasota is going back in time just a little. The Sarasota Farmers Market will have its first annual Woodstock Revival. This is tomorrow from 9 a.m. until 2 p.m. Volunteers have been getting all ready all week long. There will be all sorts of groovy decorations, some throwback items for sale, including peace signs and tie-dye shirts. There will also be a contest for the best 60s and 70s outfits, as well as kids' activities, a water slide, and a rock wall. Wow. Okay. For those who kept the fashion from those. And some of those things have come back. Tie dye yeah. is really popular right now. Yeah. I'm starting to see the wide leg jeans again. It went to skinny jeans. Now yeah. we're back out. So I haven't seen the wide ties yet, though. Not, no. That and the leisure suits. Oh, not yeah. so much. Yeah, that's we don't want to no. see that. No, we don't want to see that again. <laughs> so to come in your Suncoast News, the effects of alcohol on your overall health. How many Americans struggle with an alcohol use disorder and who is most at risk? The answer coming up next in Health News. There are many choices when it comes to AC companies. Our advice, choose a company that performs employee background checks and is licensed with top manufacturers like Daikin. Daikin offers a 12 year parts and labor limited warranty. For better comfort and value, call Elite Heating and Air. When you wanna get away from it all, to a place where you can do everything or nothing at all, surrounded by natural beauty and all the modern amenities you might desire, then you'll want to be here at the Wannabe Inn on the beautiful shores of Minnesota Key, Florida. To plan your escape, log on to wannabein.com. Are you getting the most out of your Medicare plan? Are you sure? Many people with Medicare are eligible for plans that include extra benefits in addition to those found in original Medicare. Benefits like dental, vision, and prescription drug coverage Call now to see if you're eligible to enroll. The consultation is free with no obligation to enroll. In addition to hospital and medical coverage, at no extra cost, you could also get coverage for prescription drugs, dental, hearing, vision, and more. In many areas, plans with benefits are available with $0 copays for many services, $0 monthly premiums, or $0 deductibles. That's hospital, medical, prescription drug, dental coverage, and more included in one plan with premiums that may be as low as $0 a month. Call now to see if you're eligible to enroll. The consultation is free and there's no obligation to enroll. Call 1-800-620-2254. That's 1-800-620-2254. Need more space in your place? The More Space Place can help. With Murphy beds that disappear to reveal a home office, living room, or den. Custom closets with designated areas for your shoes, bags, wardrobe, and accessories. Custom built entertainment centers, garage storage systems, and more. The Moore Space Place has three showrooms next to Sunny's on US 41 South in Sarasota, on Lakewood Ranch Boulevard just south of State Route 64 in Bradenton, and on Tamiami Trail next to Panera Bread in Port Charlotte. Put more space in your place at the Moore Space Place. Get the hottest deals of the year during the summer clearance event going on now at Sunset Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram in Sarasota. Come shop the Suncoast's largest selection of Ram trucks. Get maximum cargo space and more comfort with a new Ram quad cab for as low as $24,999. Or spread out in your spacious new Ram crew cab and save up to $10,000. Better prices, bigger selection. Go to Sunset Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram in Sarasota today. There are many choices when it comes to AC companies. Our advice, choose a company that performs employee background checks and is licensed with top manufacturers like Daikin. Daikin offers a 12 year parts and labor limited warranty. For better comfort and value, call Elite Heating and Air. A recently released study is shedding light on America's drinking habits, and the news isn't great. According to a study published in JAMA, JAMA Psychiatry, Americans are drinking a lot more these days. Researchers tracked drinking patterns among 40,000 people during 2002 and 2003, and then again in 2013 and 2014. They found that during that time, alcohol use disorders rose by almost 50 percent. 
and one out of every eight Americans struggling with alcohol. A group with the greatest increase in alcohol use disorders that was found among senior citizens. But before you get discouraged over that, do listen to this. A new study in the Journal of American College of Cardiology shows light to moderate alcohol use, not the one we were referring to in the previous story. That is associated with a reduced risk of death compared with no alcohol consumption at all. In the study, men who drank 14 or fewer drinks per week about two a day, and women who enjoyed seven or fewer, one a day, were about 20% less likely to die from any cause. That's compared to those who have never consumed alcohol or people who binge drank at least once a week. That increased their risk of cancer. Well, hello there. <laughs> Thanks, Haley. We're looking at our KC Key camera. We had some showers and thunderstorms off the coast, kind of bubbling up there, and most of the day it didn't rain. But in the afternoon, we had some thunderstorms develop down around Clark Road. We'll look at it in a minute. And there is one area of rain just spreading south from Siesta Key toward the KC Key webcam. I imagine in the next half hour or so, you'll be seeing it down there. There's evidence there in the live and Wazel camp. Currently at the airport, the temperature is 88. The 2.75, the feel-like index, 98. It's going to be a lot hotter than that tomorrow. The current heat decks across the viewing area, except where it's been rain-cooled. 100 at Mayaka City, Longbow Key 96, 99 at Venice. Now if we take a look at the radar, we can see some strong storms that were developing earlier today up in Tampa Bay and now up in the Nature Coast. A few outflow boundaries from that have produced a few showers and thunder showers in our area. One down uh, Mayaka River State Park, it seems to be dissipating or evolving up toward Mayaka City and heading toward Arcadia. And here's the one that skirted Siesta Key and is kind of heading toward Osprey at this hour. But the big thing that's happening on our weather is caused by an upper level low. And you can see it very clearly in this water vapor imagery of atmospheric moisture in the mid and upper layers of the atmosphere. That drier air is going to kind of shut off our thunderstorm engine tomorrow, which is not necessarily a good thing. It'll mean less clouds, a lot more sun, higher humidity at the surface, and it's just going to feel hot and sticky all day. Even with that upper level uh, dryness, you can see even over Alligator Alley, if there's enough moisture and heat at the surface, it'll punch up through there and create showers, but I don't think we'll see too many of that tomorrow. Now, here is Tropical Storm Harvey, and it is not vertically stacked. It's not a, a classic cyclone. It's been had its top blown off by wind shear, which will keep it from really intensifying over the weekend much. It stays about 40, 45 mile an hour winds until it gets to the coast of Honduras, almost a hurricane, and then it's going to weaken if this forecast is correct over the Yucatan Peninsula. I have pretty high confidence in that. Now, don't be too worried about Invest 92L, even though the spaghetti plot is making a beeline for Florida. The models are not really showing this intensifying into anything significant for the most part. And I think if anything, it could bring us some rain or showers next week. Wendy will keep an eye on this over the weekend and Bob on Monday, but right now I'm not too worried about it at all. Now the eclipse here is it's going to go right over North America the first time in almost a century. A lot of green, good viewing except for John Scalzi is going to be in the middle of South Carolina. I'll be just north of Nashville. Let's take a look at the computer models that they're basing this on. This is the GFS American model. John could have some clouds over him. I would be in the clear, a lot of the country clear. But the European model, which I have high confidence in, shows John having sunny skies in time for the eclipse, me as well, and a lot of the country will be able to see it if that forecast is correct. Here's our future cast for the Sunshine State, showing the storms up to the north and west of us thinning out overnight. And that dry parcel I just showed you, keeping the showers and thunderstorms down tomorrow but returning on Sunday afternoon, more typical, and hopefully we'll get some cooling from that because tomorrow's gonna be a hot day. Tonight, partly cloudy and muggy, 75 without the wind. It's just gonna be still kind of miserable. I hate to give a forecast like that, but I gotta tell you the truth, that's what's happening. And tomorrow, heat index as high as 105 or even higher, up to 108 according to the Weather Service. 92, the official high temperature, and winds will still be light. So even if you go to the beach or try and get outside, it's gonna be hot. So, Limit your outdoor uh, heavy lifting in the morning and get your golf game in early and stay inside if you can during the afternoon. 20% chance of showers because the dry air over us tomorrow that bumps up to 50% on Sunday and then pretty much a seasonal average as we move for the rest of the week. We'll have more on Tropical Storm Harvey and the eclipse coming up in just a few minutes. Scott Healy. Thank you, Steve. Time now for a check on your first alert traffic for the drive home. No major accidents backing up traffic at this hour. Drivers are still seeing some congestion on I-75 northbound. 
from Fruitville Road past State Road 64, although it does appear to be clearing up slightly from earlier. Despite adding more than 32,000 jobs, the unemployment rate in Florida remains unchanged this month. The jobless rate for August stands at 4.1 percent. That's below the national average and the lowest it's been since July of 2007. A fact that Florida's Department of Economic Development says is a promising trend for the future. We're seeing job openings across the state. We're seeing uh, people continue to move to our state. So we know that businesses are confident in their ability to grow and prosper here. Counties with the lowest unemployment rates in Florida, Monroe, St. John's, Okaloosa, and Walton. The counties with the highest unemployment rates, Hendry, Hardy, and Glades. Walmart is quickly becoming a leading player in online sales. The retailer says its online sales rose 60% over the past three months as people did more shopping on Walmart.com, Jet.com, and some other websites that the company owns. Walmart is also expanding its online grocery ordering to more stores and adding automated kiosks to 100 locations. But Amazon, of course, still a threat. Its deal to purchase Whole Foods could shake up the grocery business where Walmart holds the largest share. Follow up now on a story we told you about last Friday when several flights were diverted because crew members aboard JetBlue flights became ill. Airline officials say fumes from nail polish remover were responsible for two crew members becoming ill on a flight from Boston to Charleston, South Carolina. This is the third time in a week that employees or passengers have reported becoming sick from odors on JetBlue flights. The airline says it has installed carbon air filters to reduce odors on its planes. You know, when you have that many people in that small of a space and all crowded together, right. uh, an odor can really I'm go wrong. I'm still trying to, I, I was always confused also why it was just the crew, not the rest of the people on the yeah, plane. Yeah. That's weird, unless it was somebody on the crew taking their nail polish <laughs> off, and I think maybe it circulated right in that area. Uh -huh. I don't know, that's quite interesting. Yes, it is. Okay, entertainment news is next. Fresh out of the box, the Alfa Romeo won us over. We went in skeptical and left in awe of this gorgeous machine. Rediscover your passion for driving at Sunset Alfa Romeo of Sarasota. Hi, I'm Chef Judy. Every Wednesday morning, I'll be with the chefs at the Publix Aprons Cooking School serving up the most wonderful dishes. Watch Aprons in the Kitchen every Wednesday on ABC 7's Good Morning Suncoast. Is your old garage door stuck or broken? Would a new one give you a lift? Let Precision Door Overhead Garage Door Service of Sarasota come to the rescue with prompt and affordable repair service. Replacement doors come with an array of styles and colors, and they are rated to meet and exceed Florida standards. From estimates to installation, your satisfaction is our priority. If you're not 100% satisfied with any product, service, or installation, we will make it right, because Precision Door Service is a name you can trust. They're coming from Tampa, Fort Myers, even Orlando. They're coming from everywhere for the Sarasota Ford Promise. We promise we're more than a dealership. We're a destination with a movie theater, massage room, aquarium, cafe, and more. We promise to give you top dollar for your trade, even if you don't buy from us. And if you do, we promise you the best deal. Bring us any competitor's ad and we'll beat it by at least $1,000. That's why they're coming from everywhere to Sarasota Ford, where 41 meets 301. SarasotaFord.com. Join the fun at the Weddings of Sarasota 17th Annual Wedding Show at the iconic Sarasota Municipal Auditorium on US 41. Sunday, August 27th from noon to 4. Enjoy food, fun, and entertainment with a runway show on stage at 3 p.m. $2,000 in Weddings of Sarasota dollars given out after the runway show. You must be present to win. Pre-register at WeddingsofSarasota.com. Brides and grooms are free if registered by midnight on August 25th. Weddings of Sarasota. Register today. Suncoast students are back in school, and a lot happens before your kids hear that first bell. You need local information before you leave home in the morning. Watch Good Morning Suncoast on ABC7, weekdays starting at 5. Get breaking news, plus first alert weather and traffic focused on where you live. Whether you're a teacher, a parent, or just preparing for your day, get local stories that impact you. Watch ABC7's Good Morning Suncoast. We're here for you. It does things that seem impossible. Feeling like it could change direction while airborne. Rediscover your passion for driving at Sunset Alfa Romeo of Sarasota. 
Superhero fans get ready to binge watch a new series. Another highly anticipated Marvel series is making its debut on Netflix. That's right. Marvel's The Defenders brings together all of its superhero shows. That includes Daredevil, Jessica Jones, Luke Cage, and Iron Fist. All of which are shows among the top five most viewed recently released Netflix originals, along with the teen suicide drama 13 Reasons Why. There are eight episodes of The Defenders that are out now. Star Wars The Last Jedi may, fe Jedi may feature more than royalty in a galaxy far, far away. Actor John Boyega is hinting that Prince William and Prince Harry may both have cameos in this highly anticipated new movie. The two royals and actor Tom Hardy recently visited the set during production. But as for whether they are in the film, and whether they have roles, what roles they may be playing, it seems we'll have to wait until December when the film is released. It's Christmas in August in New York City this week. The Radio City Rockettes stopped traffic in front of Radio City Music Hall yesterday as they danced in the streets to Christmas music. The famed dancers also kicked off the holiday season by dancing while in a double-decker bus before disembarking and then dancing on the street for fans. That's pretty cool. Got the kicks and, and got it. it's all set for Christmas. The Jetsons are coming back to the small screen, only this time it will be a live action show filmed in front of a studio audience. The show will feature all of the original characters, George, Jane, Judy, Elroy, and Astro. Uh-oh! <laughs> no premiere date has been set yet, but it will air right here on ABC7. Live action. I know. Hmm. Now, how are they going to portray the future? You know, all that flying stuff and in a live action show. I don't know. And they're going to need a lot of uh, hanging from the ceiling type stuff. Yeah. That'll be interesting. We'll be right back. Discover all the reasons the experts love Subaru during the Subaru A Lot to Love event at Sunset Subaru in Sarasota. Subaru is the best overall brand for two years running and the most trusted brand for three years running, according to Kelly Blue Books, KBB.com. Right now, you can lease one of Subaru's most versatile vehicles, the Subaru Crosstrek, for as little as $189 a month, or get 0% financing. Get more for your money. Go to Sunset Subaru in Sarasota. What to do when your heating or air conditioning needs service or, heaven forbid, replacement? Call Air Now today. We've been serving Sarasota and Manatee County since 1946. We offer $49.95 tune-ups, lease or finance options, and remember, service today or it's free. 